even on a, a slightly damp day. Um, the city of Madison is happy to welcome y'all. It's my pleasure. Um, uh, I am Monica Callahan for the city of Madison. I'm the planner. All in all, if you haven't heard that um, it, ta it takes a village, in Madison it takes a village and everybody pulls their weight. And we are just so very grateful to um, uh, welcome WODA in parallel to our community once more. Thank y'all. Welcome. First of all, I'd like to say, uh, my name is Denny Blackburn. I'm Senior Vice President with Woda Cooper Companies. I'd like to really start by saying, we love this city. Uh, Madison is a vibrant community with a, a, a deep heritage and a rich culture and of course, plenty of charm. And we are proud to be able to be developed here, our second development after Silver Lakes. Uh, we did Silver Lakes a couple of years ago uh, it's just a senior housing uh, development, and we are now starting off. This is we're celebrating today the start of Canaan Crossing, which will be a workforce housing. Uh, Canaan Crossing uh, will be a, a development for residents earning up to 60% of the area medium income. There will be uh, there'll be eight one-bedroom units, 32 two-bedroom units, and 20 three-bedroom units. So you can see a, a diversity in the number uh, and sizes of the units. Th this will be in buildings that will be built around a green space that will provide a wonderful sense uh, of community. Uh, the units themselves will, will be, uh, be very bright with con contemporary finishes. Uh, they will actually have Energy Star compliances uh, throughout, including uh, dishwashers. We will also have a community room, a multi-purpose room, and also a central laundry. Because of its excellent energy efficiency and the many green features, Canaan Crossing is expected to be certified LEED Gold. Would you all please go ahead and give WOTA and Parallel Housing a hand? Yes. We had the pleasure of working with WOTA and Parallel Housing. They came in and they constructed Silver Lakes, which is a huge asset to the city of Madison. A great looking, well kept facility for senior housing. I am looking forward to Canaan Crossing being an asset to the city of Madison. It will be located in a mile of restaurants, retail, and churches. Work for, workforce housing is so much needed in the city of Madison. Um, this is definitely my district, but I feel like it's going to be an asset to the entire city of Madison. Um, how, workforce housing was on my platform nine years ago. Um, so today I am so grateful and so thankful that the brown breaking is now taking place. Thank you all. Our downtown development authority is led by Ed Latham. He didn't want to say words today, he doesn't like focus on him, but I'm just going to recognize that without his leadership and support, um, the Downtown Development Authority wouldn't have been in this area acting as the Urban Renewal Agency and bringing housing opportunities to our community. The follow-up to that is that without the support of the city council members, I know that Carrie got to speak today, but we have other city council members that are here and they need to know and recognize that every member of the city council's support for um, the Downtown Development Authority's budget and for their actions and for uh, the controversial moments in time where we need the political support to actually uh, have the fortitude to go forward is vital. I'd like to thank uh, some of the other uh, development partners and, and I'd, I'd actually like to start by uh, thanking the Georgia Department of Community Affairs who actually provided both the state federal tax credits that makes this possible and they also provided a, a home loan for this particular development. To bring about 60 affordable townhomes that will house Madison's workforce. The willingness of, the, of Madison's Downtown Development Authority to provide a long-term land lease was essential to bringing Canaan Crossing to fruition. So on behalf of the state of Georgia and DCA, um, I am proud, I say thank you to those that collaborated to bring about this public-private partnership. I look forward to seeing the fruit of all of our labor and to meeting the residents that will call Canaan Crossing home in the future. Thank you all. Thank you to CREA for investing in the tax credits. Thank you to the Summit Community Bank for providing the construction loan. We want to also recognize our partners, including Mosley Architects, Georgia Civil Incorporated, and 
and Emory Group, and also to our teams at Water Construction and Water Management. Thank you. It is our prayer that families who want to move in with children, they will make a difference in this community with the roof over their heads and the ability to be comfortable in days ahead.